Shannon, you weigh in. Is this indeed the best rivalry of this generation? Well, I'm trying to figure out what's comparable. What rivalry? I mean, you want to say the Spurs and, and the Lakers? I mean, I, I mean, I mean, can you can you come with something that's even comparable to Steph and 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 and, and of this generation, Skip? So let's let's go since 2000. Can we? It, what's comparable? They've met four times in the finals. Mm -hmm. They've they now they meet again for a fifth time in the, in in, in the uh, in the Western Conference semifinals. Yeah. And you're talking about two. I believe when Steph Curry won that Finals MVP, I I put him in my top ten. I put him at ten mm -hmm. uh, of all time great players. So you got two top ten. You got one and ten. So spectrum. But yeah, I'm just saying that. So I, I just want to know what's comparable, Skip. I, I don't know what's comparable. Steph is coming off a 50-point outing, his career high, the most points in a game seven in NBA in NBA history. LeBron was the first Laker since Shaq in 2004 to post a 20-20 game. So, I, yeah, Skip, I, for me, it is, it's the greatest rivalry of just this generation because I don't know off the top of my head what is even close because we don't, I mean, you know, they played each other three times in the NBA Finals, Skip. So that goes... Uh, no, they played four. 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 Yeah. They, won, uh, they won 15, 17, mm -hmm. 18. LeBron won 16. And now they meet again. So off the top of my head, Skip, I can't think of anything other than Shaq, Kobe, Duncan, Shaq, Kobe, Lakers yeah. against Tim Duncan and against Parker and, and, and Manu. That's yeah. the only thing that I can think of. And I would say this one is better. This, okay. this is because this is the NBA Finals. And I think that's what made Bird Magic. Bird Magic played, I, I said twice, they played three times because they beat him in 85, and they beat them again in 87. Yep. Because they played, like, four straight finals, 84, 85, 86, 87, with what you call them in between, the Houston yep. Rockets in 86, lost to the Celtics, and, and Magic and them came back, and they won 88, 89, and the Pistons won okay. 89, 90. So, for me, yes, absolutely, and there's nothing close. Mm. You know, I can make a very strong case that a more authentic rivalry, a more closely matched and hard, hard fought rivalry, a more down to the wire rivalry was Spurs versus LeBron. And we can do Cleveland and then the two times in Miami. Okay. It was it was pretty epic, even though they swept the first time. The next two were mm -hmm. boy, they were battles. Okay. But think about it, though. Four final skip, and okay. now we're the fifth time. And it's not done. Who's to say they don't come back again next year and do this all over again? Okay, the reason I'm going to disqualify what Darvin Ham said, and I don't blame him for saying it because he's, he's caught up in the moment, and right. I would say the same thing. But I'm going to disqualify this as a one-sided rivalry because I, I'm all about LeBron in this rivalry. Seriously, head-to-head. Mm -hmm. -head. I'll, I'll look at this. They played 22 finals games against each other, head-to-head. Right. -head. LeBron has averaged, you ready for this? 33, 12 rebounds, and nine assists. That's pretty sensational. <laughs> yeah. 33, 12, and 9. Steph has averaged in 22 games, 25, 6, and 6. So he's he's seven, eight, eight, points. eight points short of him in scoring. He's six rebounds shy of him, and he's three assists shy of him in average. Right. They both average four turnovers a game, which is high, but they both have the ball in their hands a lot, and they're trying to do a lot with it. Right. Okay. So, again, 33 to 25. 12 to 6 in rebounds, 9 to 6 in assists, on average over 22 games. Well, the king has been the king of this rivalry. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's look hard at what has happened in these, these NBA finals that they played head to head. Okay, what happened the first time? LeBron had lost Kevin Love, then he loses Kyrie in overtime of game one. And I've told you before, he played the three greatest in a row games of his career, and it ain't even close because he averaged 41, 12, and 8. He literally put a not very good team on his yeah. shoulders and carried them yeah. to a two games to one lead with game four in his house. Mm -hmm. And what turned the series on its head? Steve Kerr decided to go because he'd seen something happen at the end of game, game three. three. He said, hmm. Iggy, right. my man, Andre Iguodala, maybe he's the magic Right. being here. Maybe he's the X factor. So let's let's try Iggy in the starting lineup on LeBron. And let's see if LeBron will have to guard Iggy in the cross match on the other end. And in that game four, LeBron, a lot of people said he ran out of gas. I don't know what happened, but he shot seven of 22. He's one of four from three and five of 10 from the free throw line. And they got annihilated at home in game four. Mm -hmm. Because I'm thinking that night going to the game, if, if LeBron can pull this off, he's going to be up three games to one yeah. going back to Oracle wouldn't this be the most, the, the greatest achievement of his career? Because he doesn't have his two stars alongside, right? Yeah. 
So you can say it was almost impossible, and then it was impossible. Right. But Iguodala was the X factor. Yes. So all of a sudden, the, the whole series changes, and now the Warriors just go on and close them out in, what, six, six games. games? Okay. All right. So that's the first time. But the MVP of the finals was Andre Iguodala, not yes. Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. And Steph was pretty good, but, but he wasn't. He wasn't LeBron-esque. He, he, no. he couldn't match LeBron's firepower, and this is the first time they'd met. Okay, then what happens the next year? Well, obviously, KDK. Steph and company, or no, no, 16. Oh, 16, 16. okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. now you got one more. Right. But, right. but Steph and company are up three games to one. That's the 73 and 19. It's 73 and nine, and you're up three games to one. Obviously, Draymond got suspended by getting into it with LeBron, but all of a sudden, they, they've got two of the last three games at home. In Steph's house. And what happens? In five, six, and seven, one more time, fourth quarters of those three finals games, five, six, and seven, Steph goes six of 20, three of 12 from three. And in the game seven, fourth quarter, he scores three total points. He has no assists, no rebounds, one big turnover, shot one of six from the floor and one of five from three in the fourth quarter of game seven. And finally, Kyrie had a shot. LeBron had the chase down. And your team pulled off coming down from coming back from three to one down. OK, mm -hmm. so that was not Steph's most shining yeah, moment, right? Yeah. OK, then what, what does Steph Curry do at this point? He leads the contingent, according to all the reports, to fly across the country on July the 3rd. And on July the 4th, they they recruit and sign Kevin bleeping Durant yeah. to leave Oklahoma City, leave poor little Russ behind. And join forces with a team that they, the Thunder, had down three to one in the Western Conference Finals. Right. Okay. And everybody said, "How dare you, Kevin? This is shameful, right? How this is beneath yeah. you." And what did Kevin do? He shocked me because I didn't see this one coming. In the 17 Finals, and then again in the 18 Finals, especially in the Game Threes back in LeBron's house, he just rose up and took over the game. Mm -hmm. He won Finals MVP back to back. Not Steph. It was KD. Right. So I'm, I'm looking at Steph is is three to one on LeBron in the finals. But the three wins were with Iggy as the MVP and KD as the MVP and KD as the MVP. Well, to me, it, it's it's a one sided rivalry because LeBron has outplayed him across yeah, the board. Sure. Right. Yeah. OK, so I don't know. Maybe it's kind of a Golden State LeBron, but but it's, it's Steph hasn't been that influential. He hasn't been central to this. He hasn't been the centerpiece. It hasn't been mono a mono Steph versus LeBron. But I think there is more because Steph is the face of the Warriors. And okay. even though KD was there and KD deserved those MVPs, we're not yep. questioning that. Andre, I, I believe Steph deserved that first MV Finals MVP. Um, but hey. The series flipped when once he got it, inserted it into the starting and, lineup. And you can make a case just on sheer numbers that yeah. Steph at yeah. least deserved a lot of consideration yes. for MVP. Um, but you're right, Skip. But I think because both guys are the face of their team, yep. and that's what Skip is kind of like it, it, Celtics Lakers. It was bird magic. Even though we this, Skip, let's go back to the '60s when they played each other. I think seven straight, eight straight times in the finals. Yep. But it was yeah, it was Celtics okay. Lakers. But, but here, here would be the the comparison. What if after, let's say, Magic had lost to Bird? Yeah. Then what if Magic somehow, if there was such a thing as free agency at that point where there wasn't, but what if he had been able to go recruit Michael Jordan? Right. I need you to come to L.A. and save me <laughs> against Larry Bird. Well, th that's the equivalent of this. That's why it's hard for me. You, you elevated after last year's finals when Steph did break through and right. finally win MVP. Yeah. You said, I, I've got him 10th now on yeah. the all-time all list. list. Yeah. Okay. I get it, but but in the end, this is just me. I'm old school with this. He's disqualified because he needed to go recruit a player that he clearly thought was better than himself right. to come save him because... I he, don't know if he thinks that, okay, but, but I but think many people think many that. Many people think that. They were positioned to have to... They, they knew what was coming. They're going to have to deal yeah. with LeBron. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't okay. believe, I don't believe with the way they were constructed with Harrison Barnes. Yes. I don't believe... And he was a free agent, so he was able to... Yeah. I don't believe they would have beat the Lakers. I don't believe they, excuse me, they would have beat, beat the, the Cavaliers, Cavaliers. With, with Kyrie okay. and LeBron again. I so, do not. So it is set up. The skids are greased right. for him to have to go right back to a finals, which happened, and right back to another finals and lose to LeBron and company. Right. Whoever was going right. to be with LeBron, but it right. was going to be LeBron. I can't beat LeBron. And in the end, 
Steph is 6'3", and LeBron's 6'9", so there's only so much Steph can do to beat LeBron. Now think about it, Skip. In that series in 17, LeBron averaged a 33-point triple-double. Yes. Now, minus the 35 points that Kevin Durant adds, yep. they're probably going to get swept or win no more than a game. They're going to get swept. It's as simple as that. So I disqualify Steph from top 10 because mm -mm. In, in, at the peak of his prime, he had to say, I got to go get this other guy to save me from that guy. Well, Skip, I mean, right? it's different now. Because if you're going to take, if you're going to disqualify that, you got to take Kareem out because he had Magic. You got to take Magic out because he had Kareem. You can't have Shaq or Kobe in because they had each other for the entire, basically for uh, at least eight years of their career. So the the way it used to be, the general managers, but general managers are not like Jerry West. They're not R.C. Buford, the yep. guys that can put together the team for the most part. Yep. they do a good job of it. Some of them do, but yep. for the most part, not skip. Guys like, hey man, I like bro game. I think yep. his game will complement mine. Yep. What you think about? come and join me, or I come join you, yep. or we go link somewhere else. That's the way it is now, Skip. You don't think Tom, if, if, if Coach Belichick would have asked uh, uh, Tom Brady, hey, Tom, I need you to get on the plane. I need you to fly to West Virginia and, and talk to Randy because he's going to be, he's this, and we want to see him. You don't think Tom would have got on that? He would have done it. It's just a little <laughs> different in football because 11 play at once. Right. Oh, yeah. Th this is five at once, and if you get one, it, it, oh, it alters it. It definitely, yeah. it definitely alters it. Right. Yeah, Not sure. that Randy Moss didn't change Tom Brady's uh, life yeah. because he put up his biggest numbers and set records well, with that Randy was his Moss. First, that was his first MVP season. That was it. First unanimous MVP. Okay. I got it. And you can argue that was the only legit deep threat that he had his yeah. whole career. Yeah. Okay. And so, Skip, I, I, it is. I, I understand that you, you want to disqualify. You, you, you okay. disqualify. So, you know, I, I want to say the real rivalry, sort of the unsung between the lines rivalry is KD versus LeBron, but it hasn't happened enough. Right. It just happened in those two, and and well, now you can okay, just see you, you, some, but but not like this. I'm talking about oh no no in, no 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 finals. No, no. But and, they haven't yet, even played each other. They have, think about it. They hadn't even played each other since that finals. That was in 2018. They haven't. But it seems like every conversation we have, every debate we have on this show, it it somehow swirls around LeBron and KD. I've thought for five years, I don't think so after last night, but I've thought for five years that KD was the best player on the planet. And a lot of people do think that, that he's a notch above LeBron just because he's such a great shooter. Right. Okay? Uh, so, so we keep going, KD or LeBron? LeBron or KD? But we never say LeBron versus Steph. We, we never have a debate about who's the better player, uh, who's the best player on the planet. I, y Giannis is in there, I, but, but we never put Steph in there. Skip, I think the thing is now, if you were to rank the players, if you say rank the 20 best players, I believe Steph Curry would be ranked ahead of Kevin Durant now. Hmm. Maybe at this moment, there might be some prisoner of the moment. Well, but, I, think the thing, I think the thing is, it's four championships to two. It's... Two final is two regular season MVPs to one. Yeah, is and and KD does have the head, the head to head as yeah. far as you finals know, you're, MVP. You're probably right because listen, KD got embarrassed last year by the Boston Celtics, right. and I still haven't gotten over that. So I I was ready for him to he needed to make amends right. this year, and he it felt like he was on. Steph his has way. never been swept. No. If you think about no. all the greats, every great player has been swept. That's never, ever happened Okay, to right. Steph Curry. Okay. I, I got it. But then we can fall back on, yeah, but he had the second greatest shooter <laughs> ever, and he had w one of the greatest okay. guts and glue guys that who've ever played in Draymond. Yeah. Okay. That, but, Skip, I don't think people are giving Draymond as much credit that he deserves. I mean, I think the thing is sometimes when people try to discredit Steph, they'll give Draymond credit, but most yep. people don't think Draymond is very good. I understand his purpose yep. and what he does for that team yep. is more than just stats. Because if you just look at the stat sheet, for the most part, it's not going to be eye popping. No, but yeah, Skip, this is this is it. Yeah, is it? Yep. Uh, I, I, Chef I'm, I'm, Steph. I, I'm trying to give your man more credit than you are. No, I'm, I'm giving, saying it's no, no. a one-sided rivalry no, no, no. to the point that I don't know it is a rivalry. Well, because it's a team sport, people look at it like, well, Steph has gotten the best of LeBron because yeah. his teams have been on the, uh, the, the, the winning side more so than not. Yeah. But if you look at the numbers, I don't really yeah. know what else LeBron could do. You gave the numbers 33, 12, and 8, 33, 12, and 9. I don't really know what else LeBron could have done. And he was two assists, he was two assists, I think, away again from averaging the numbers triple-double in the year they got swept. Yeah. All, all he could have done is win game four in that first go-around. Okay. If you pull that off... Or maybe win game one in, in 2018. 
That would have helped. <laughs> yeah, because you had him. You had him. One of the great shooting nights he's ever had. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Even that, even that being uh, uh, up 1-0, I don't know if that's enough maybe, to hold up Golden not. State. But up 3-1 to one in 2015 because yeah. they weren't Golden State yet. They weren't sure who they were quite yet. Right. I think you could have closed that deal. And that would have been an achievement. This is going to be a this is going to be a great matchup. Here. It's going to be great. Thanks for watching, undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.